Well, I hope you love that start to finish process of this project. What I was looking for is I really wanted to create kind of a desktop uh, caddy to house my tools in that I most go for. I have one of those recollection spinners, but it kind of sits on the floor under my desk. Um, and I just wanted something small on top that, you know, I could go, you know, that I always grab for like every project, my scissors, you know, brushes, that kind of thing, my uh, Prima Distress tool, that kind of thing. So I just created something nice and uh, small, um, tiny. I just thought it was really cute. Um, the boxes that I got, I started out with, were from Dollar Tree. Um, and so one of them I'd almost had all the way done. You saw me start one kind of start to finish and how I put it together. Um, and if they didn't really have like these particular boxes, because I was going to do like three um, when I went back to Dollar Tree, but they did have like these during Valentine's Day with the lid um, and it's basically the same box without the flap okay it kind of had a magnetic lid so if you find these all you have to do is cut that flap off and then you can start with the same basic thing I did and go through that process and these are nice sizes you know if you get they usually come in like three sizes you could kind of have a small medium large uh, boxes to do your little caddy with um, and I went ahead just with two, um, and I was going to do three, but then I found this cute little other um, galvanized metal envelope that my cousin had gave me, and I thought that would be just a cute little, you know, pocket on the side. So I went ahead and made it nice and small. So I'll just kind of show you it kind of up here, start to finish. And I wanted to go kind of reds and blacks and pinks. I love doing polka dots and florals together. Um, so I kind of went with that um, theme as well, kind of the prints. This paper line here um, that I use this floral, this beautiful floral, um, is the Frank Garcia Love Story Collection by Prima Marketing. Renee has that in her shop. And then these other papers that I used actually were... Um, was it Authentique or Blue Fern Studio? Blue Fern Studio Love Story. That's what they were. Um, I have just very few sheets left. They were a gift from my uh, good friend P. And um, so I just used those very sparingly. Okay. Nice and close on that side. I think we got a good look over here. We're going to kind of go back through because I'm going to start right over on that envelope. And I wanted this to just be kind of eclectic in design using metals and all the kind of different things that I like to use. Quotes, you know, that kind of refer to art and creativity. So that was kind of my um, inspiration there. Um, oh, I used another paper collection here. Oop, not Prima Salvage District. Let me. Maybe it was the. Yep, it was the Prima Salvage District from my stash. Okay. The outer papers, the ones you can kind of see on the outside, those I sewed with my sewing machine in distress just a little bit. Um, and then on the spine, I didn't really go on the inside and do that because, you know, it's just going to kind of get roughed up with tools and things like that. I'll try to keep it as neat as possible because it's too pretty, but kind of the outer pieces, just the very outer ones is the ones that I did the sewing and stuff to. So like I said, um, galvanized metal envelope here. You saw me kind of paint it with a uh, Prima marketing black gesso there. Line the inside with paper and the outside and another little piece of the uh, love story collection by uh, Frank Garcia and then I had this really pretty little um, just embroidered heart for my stash I tucked in here this noted is by Heidi Swap a Woodward I think I got it Joann's uh, down here I lined this is a beautiful board uh, element piece not an element piece a beautiful board a border piece <laughs> uh, from Renee's shop and this one is just called heart lace Okay, it's got the little open heart. She has the same thing um, with closed hearts, and then little hearts come with it that you can kind of 3D right on top. But this is kind of the open hearts here, so this is just called the heart lace. It's a heart lace border. Um, and then I layered on top of that, I've got a little 
Um, this is just a metal element by Prima. It's kind of tucked in there. This is a beautiful board piece for Monet's shop. It's the Quilling Leaves. They come in a set of six. This is the small size. I know it's going to be hard to see. Let me set this down for a minute. I grabbed a couple right out here to the side I could show you. So this is the small. They come in a set of six. But I love them again because you know I'm suckers for the swirls. So those are just super cute. Okay, so I kind of tucked one of those in there. Um, then on top of that, this is just a Prima uh, metal word, little metal placket there. I've got some Rene Bouquet Mulberry Flowers here. This is the Rene Bouquet Mulberry Flowers in the dark pink. They come dark pink. They're roses and leaves, so I've got one tucked there. These are just some white roses from my stash. I used uh, Rene Bouquet Beautiful Board Printed Board, the Tuck It In Cherry Blossoms. You all know I love to use my little cherry blossoms and tuck those in. And I've got a couple here in case you're uh, new to my channel. These are in various sizes because they do come in different sizes and there's like a ton in the set. But I just love them because they just tuck in and they're just so vibrant. And I love to... She did a perfect word for them, a perfect name, tuck it in, because they're just great to tuck it in. And I just love them. So realistic, so vibrant. Love working with these. They've very quickly become one of my favorites to use. So I tucked that in there. I wanted to make sure I kind of tucked these cherry blossoms all over the project so it all kind of be cohesive. This is a Rene Bouquet Dragonfly. Um, this is called the Frosty Pink Dragonfly and they are just gorgeous. They come with the glitter glass on them, the little gems in the middle. They're just gorgeous. These are just really fun. If you're a lover of dragonflies, there are tons of different designs in her shop. Just stinking gorgeous. Right here, just tucked. Let me move a little um, wing out of the way here so you can see a tiny little beautiful board clock hand from Renee's shop. Uh, these are the small, the small clock hand set. They come in small, medium, large, extra large. I just kind of tucked one right in there. And then right up here, this is a Renee Bouquet's Magical Miniatures Butterfly, and they're called My Romantic Heart, and they are tiny. They are double sided, and this set comes with a uh, pink ones and a really light purple ones in that uh, set of these. And then I've got right in here, you can barely see it, but it's just tucking out because I love, um, you know, metals in my projects. And this is an old set from Prima and it's the water pipe parts. Um, and I've got just one of the little water pipes tucked right in there. Okay. Um, we'll come. Well, we'll go ahead with the glitter glass. At the end of the project, you saw me use my uh, Premi 3D matte gel, and then I put two different shades of glitter glass all around the project. I used in the shade of pink, and then in the shade of diamond. So I've got that just kind of all around in the project, just adding that little bit of a romantic touch, even in kind of the middle of the magical miniatures butterfly, just adding that little bit of a romantic touch. Okay. So then let's go to this side. Here I kind of layered down uh, the project. These are Tim Holtz chipboard words. Okay, I got these at either row, let's see, either Michael's or Joanne's. Okay, um, and I think you saw me, I had a different one on top when I started, but when I punched the hole, it made kind of a crease in the chipboard word, so I took that off and I changed this. <laughs> anyway, but I just wanted kind of words that kind of went with art. So today is full of possibilities. We have a collection of art. It's all unique. We have tons and tons, et cetera, et cetera, of different art pieces, and we create our art. So that was kind of why I picked all those uh, little pieces. This wood word is just from... Uh, Michael's, their $1.50 bin little banner, wood banners in that bin there. Um, this is another Magical Miniatures uh, Butterfly from Renee Bouquet's shop, that same My Romantic Heart uh, set. This is a little resin uh, ampersand symbol from Prima out of my stash. I tucked in, again, a little cherry blossom right in there from Beautiful Board, Printed Board product. This is a little Rene Bouquet's Silver Spoon, a little trinkets pack. You get like a set of five, so I tuck that right in there. This is a Rene Bouquet's Mulberry Flower. These are actually in a soft peach, but the soft peach to me has just a little bit of kind of almost 
a cross between the peach and kind of the light pink. If you get it on peach, it looks great, but if you kind of put it with just the right shades of pink, it kind of takes on a pink shade. So I kind of tucked one of those in there. Um, this is a little uh, Prima Marketing resin piece, like a little um, fireplace mantle kind of tucked in there. Another, this is like an old Finnebar um, metal Prima marketing piece in here from my stash and this beautiful double layered butterfly is from Renee's shop of course and this is the glass wing double butterfly and this is the shabby pink roses these are just gorgeous obviously like I'm saying it's double uh, wing double butterfly but what's neat is the bottom like it's got the roses on the print and then the acetate on top also has that same design in the roses so it completely matches just gorgeous touch and then she also adds the glitter glass on there does her little bit to the there it's probably hard to see but the there's even a little bit of like glitter in the center of the roses on the acetate on top she you know adds the glitter to the middle of the body does her own antennas and these are just gorgeous I love these kind of glass wing uh, butterflies and there are a bunch of different glass wings um, on the Renee Bouquet site if you go under uh, the down look down and there's a subtitle that says glass wing um, thereabouts just lost my train of thought something about glass wings forgive me but there's all sorts of there's like butterflies and dragonflies I think there's ladybugs and bees all kind of with this glass wing uh, feature to them so you can find that really easily on the site over on this side um, what I had done is I would punched a hole right here in the top and I added some chain coming down because um, I just wanted a little bit of movement on my uh, project so I added some chain coming down into this Tim Holtz piece. Um, these are some of his new releases out. These are keyholes. Uh, I got these at mm, Hobby Lobby. Um, really pretty keyholes. So I put one on here and added the chain through it. I had originally, I want to tell you, had glued it down originally and it quite wasn't laying right, which I knew it wouldn't with the chain underneath. So off camera, I kind of pulled it back up off camera and then I put... Um, like cardboard underneath to kind of lift it up to compensate for the chain um, underneath that so that it would lay a little bit better and then down here I've got this is another Prima uh, piece here old release a little metal piece it's a kind of an on off switch and it's on it's on the on position and I thought that was cool because our creativity is always on um, this is a Renee Bouquet's mulberry flower here this is the mini pink and ivory and then of course I have another magical miniatures butterfly here and then when it's up kind of from the side you can see how the chain kind of hangs down and loops down there there just like that really cute so it's got a little bit of movement going on in that so I thought that was fun and then as we come around to the last little side here let me find a grab hold here there we go um, this side I just thought, thought turned out super cute and I wanted to use some of my favorite things from Renee's shop over here so right here I started in the corner with these are the April and Paris line doilies okay and this is the doily one set you get a set of three they're really super cute I've got the set right here so you can see okay so you get a set of three all in various sizes then you come down to this size and then you come down to the small size that I used okay I mean wow these are huge and wonderful to work with and look at just the beautiful intricate cut so again the April and Paris line set of three these are the doily one she also has another set of doilies and they're the doily two set so this is the doily one set okay so that's what I started with down there and then I just laid a little resin frame from my stash in there I laid this uh, faucet knob on top because I thought um, and these are I got at uh, Hobby Lobby from their craft embellishment section um, and they were a set of five multicolor faucet knobs but the reason I laid the faucet knobs down was because over on opposite side remember I laid a pipe part down so you know when you lay down a pipe part you gotta have a faucet knob to go with it right <laughs> 
I know my brain thinks weird and plus I just I just love it it's eclectic and that's kind of what I wanted this to be all about was just these eclectic pieces that can all kind of work together so I laid that down on top of that I laid down this beautiful Rene Bouquet chiffon flower with the uh, pearl and rhinestone accents in the center I love these flowers love them love them love them these come in a set of three Renee has lots of colors uh, in her shop. I laid down just some rolled roses from my stash, a couple of other flowers, and then, of course, I wanted to bring around again the cherry blossoms, so I tucked some cherry blossoms in right there, and then I tucked another one in down here. Um, down at the bottom, now this piece is, uh, I have not used these. They've been out for a little bit on Renee's site, but I have not used them. Um, these are the, um, my, rom or not my, they are the Romantic Heart Pattern Set. They come in a set of eight. Um, and this is out of the small set. But let me show you, I've got the set here. These are larger, okay? Um, these are not the size. This is probably the large size set, obviously. But let me show you. So this is the piece that I used on the bottom. It's these just beautiful shabby hearts. See, they've got like an open heart here and a little closed heart down here. And then they have all these cute little curly cues and stuff in between. So this comes in the set. And then you get kind of this piece here. This beautiful little, like, almost like a like a top arch piece that comes in the set would be really pretty at the top of a like a mini album or something almost like a accent title piece okay then you get this piece this is almost you know like when you have a heart this is almost like the bottom point of the heart really cute hearts here you could almost turn it around and use it this way of course, or you can turn it upside down and use it this way. I would tend to want to go this way just because of the shape, but, you know, it probably goes this way. But anyway, there's that piece. And then there is, of course, an actual heart. Really cute. This almost looks like a keyhole in the center. Okay. And then it comes with two little smaller hearts here, just single hearts. Okay, and then it also comes, see how it's got these little heart center cutouts? You also get those two little heart uh, pieces with it. I don't have it here with the set, but you also get the two little just regular hearts as well in this set. Okay, so this is the Romantic Heart Pattern Set, and they come in a set of eight, okay? So I use, that was the large set, I use the small um, piece on mine, just that little border down at the bottom here. Um, and then on top of that, this is just a little Tim Holtz uh, metal um, thing here. It says authentic on it. I layered this is a Prima light bulb here. And I just layered that right in here. It said something else on the top, but these Prima light bulbs, um, if there's a word on them that you didn't like, you know, you were able to scratch them off. And then I rubbed on my own letters here that say love on it. So that's kind of sitting in there. Um, on top of my flowers, this is a beautiful Rene Bouquet's uh, printed board piece. And these are the vintage cherubs. And they come in a set of two. There's a little girl and a little boy. And obviously this is the little girl. She's in the little cute pink little cover up here holding flowers. I think I used that on my last project. I wanted to kind of feature her again. So I've got her in there. Um, this is another... Um, Magical Miniatures, My Romantic Heart Butterfly in here. These cute keys, these beautiful board keys, they come in a set of two. Super, super sweet, and it's actually called the Sweetheart Key Set. They're little, I love it, because they're little double hearts with a bow. They come down into the key portion with a couple more little hearts, and they are just super sweet. And, of course, I hooked my chain right to that right here, hooked my chain so it would just swing freely right to that. I just thought that was super cute. Um, and then I tucked in a Rene Bouquet's Tiny Treasures Butterfly. This is called Sweet Pea and it's in pink. She's got a bunch of different Sweet Pea uh, Tiny Treasures Butterflies in different shades. This one's in the pink. And then lastly, I just kind of thought it was cute and I layered it on here. This is a Rene Bouquet's Trinket. Um, 
and these come in a set of five and they are the fairy princess crowns in silver I believe she also has them in tarnished brass I hope you can see that really well um, or good enough just a little I just think they are so cute the fairy princess crowns and I just kind of wanted to tuck a little crown in there thought that was super fun um, and then of course everywhere over here I again layered the the glitter glass and stuff all over the side all over the project um, here I had layered it I put a little bit in the middle of the spoon there just to give the spoon a little something layered it all along the collection there so that's how it turned out super pretty I think I just think it's super fun um, you know and then while it sits on my desk of course, I can add my most used tools, so I can kind of add my scissors, although I probably would add my scissors on the side, my most used kind of scissors hanging off of the side, and then some of maybe my, you know, favorite brushes, you know, my um, sponge brushes I seem to grab all the time, maybe some of my favorite paint brushes, of course. Um, maybe some of my you know tools to do my stencils with of course my prima distress tool just enough to hold a little bit right on my desk my most used kind of tools and it's just my cute little tool caddy I just love how it turned out it's got personality it's decorative crafty of course to go with my crafting tools I will have all the links down below to everything Renee Bouquets as usual, um, as well as the link to my blog and Pinterest account. You can see close-up photos of these on my blog and the Renee Bouquets blog. Come like Renee Bouquets on Facebook and, you know, take a, um, a place in the challenges and swaps that are held monthly. Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already with me. Um, love to have you along in my crafting endeavors. I thank you for sharing your time with me. Don't forget to leave a comment, and I'll talk with you again soon. Bye.